I can reach out to them immediately and there is no no such a rule like I need to follow some protocol and all. So one thing like the road, the road is very bad. Almost like 500 meter we need to go inside. So if it is raining then it's a very difficult to walk over there. Can you also tell us the fee structure of the school? I think it's a 50 to 55k if I'm not wrong. Hi, welcome to Yellowslate, your very own school search engine that helps you find the best schools for your kids based on various filters and parameters. Today, we are Mr. Saro, whose kid is studying in the Kiran International School, which is in Uppal in Hyderabad. Let's speak to him and understand what he honestly thinks about the school. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Yeah, I mean, five years back when I came to Uppal, so I am working in Hightech City, one of the private companies. So I start searching the schools. Initially, I took admission in Siddhartha Public School. But the infra was not up to the mark. Then I started searching, like I found like Pallavi International, Pallavi School. I heard about a lot of words from my colleagues and all. Then Kiran International, then I visited all the schools. So I found like it's a very big infra. And uh, I'm, I'm staying in like apartment where like almost 500 families are staying. So when I compare students, I mean, children are playing the body language and the behavior of children. So I decided to move to Kiran International. So in this five years, how was the school like? Did you like it or have any specific concerns about the school? No concern. I mean, it's very, very good actually. And the behavior of the teachers, principal and everyone like they are caring kids like students like uh, uh, their kid actually. So I am going to office. So I need not to worry about all those things. Like they are caring kids very well, actually. So right. sometimes what happened, parent meeting and all. So they are very flexible because they, they can understand the pain of private job. So they are flexing, flexible for that. But yeah, as a parent, always there is an expectation. <laughs> yeah. Got it. So can, for all our viewers, can you tell which class is your kid studying in? And also the fees is studying in third class. Can you also tell us the fee structure of the school? <laughs> that part I'm not aware. My wife is taking care of uh, those stuff. But I think it's uh, 50 to 55k, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So initially when we took admission, they, they charged for something 25k or 20k for development fund, something. Okay. So now um, it is so, about 50, 55k per annum, right? Yeah. 45 or 50. It's near about. I mean, I'm <laughs> not taking right. care of those things. Yeah. Got it. And in particular about the academic orientation of the school, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, are you liking the school in terms of the teaching methodologies and uh, their in kids' inclination towards studies? No, no, they are, they are not forcing all your study. I mean, they are forcing for like all curriculum activities. Like there are so many visits. I mean, like they used to take uh, children to supermarket, banks, and uh, a lot of activities going on like water saving and all, plantation. So children are like, uh, they, they are well aware, like how to live in this society and how, how to make our environment so healthy. So, yeah, even, you know, I, I like one of the things. So the day, day before yesterday only, I, I visited to, I think yesterday, right? Yesterday I visited to school. So all children, they were like, when leaving the school, they are putting all the water bottles, water in a, into a drum. So I asked like, why you are putting here? So they said like uh, they are using for like uh, uh, plants and all. So it's a good actually. So if children started caring these things uh, in initial days, so it will be like very good for future. Got it. Sir, you spoke a lot of nice things about the school, but if you have to be really critical and tell us where the school can still get better at, what are those areas? Yeah. So one thing like the road, uh, I, I'm not sure whether it's... Uh, under their control, but uh, road is very bad. Let's and to the uh, school? Yeah. Okay. Almost like 500 meters we need to go inside. So if it is uh, raining, then it's uh, very difficult to walk over there. And there are so many dogs, street dogs are roaming around. So there is a possibility of like some casualty, minor casualty, maybe sometimes snacks and all. Uh, and that thing, I, I think uh, maybe government need to take care because it's not under schools. Got that yeah. But they can put their word in front of government and all. Got it. But uh, in, in case if you have any questions or concerns, is it easy to re reach out to the management or teachers? Uh, yeah, any time, any time we can re reach out to them. Got I it. mean, it's not like that we need to take appointment anytime if 
I am going to pick up my daughter, so I can reach out to them immediately. I mean, there is no no such a rule like I need to follow some protocol and all. You are telling about the infrastructure of the school that was uh, in the beginning. So, for those parents who didn't visit the campus yet, can you tell what sort of physical infrastructure do they have? Yeah, they they have very uh, big play, playground and lot of plantation over there. A play area separately. They have a skat area, a volleyball area, and swimming pool. So yeah, those kind of things over there. Got it. And before we wind up, on scale of ten, with ten being the highest, how likely are you to recommend the Kiran International School to any of your family members or kids? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, it's ten only. Great. That's so nice. And thank you so much for coming forward and sharing all these opinions. Uh, it will be a yeah. great help for other parents who are looking for good schools in and around the Upal area. Thank you very much for your time once again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thanks a lot. Thank you.